A lot of Republicans over the past three months by just telling the truth about what Ted Cruz's strategy was going to bleed to. And I wasn't alone. A lot of us predicted this. And it happened. And Republicans are now having the lowest approval rating ever. I've got to say this to my Democratic friends right now. The same thing's going to happen here. The Tea Party didn't just come come and drop down on earth from mars these people didn't come from anywhere they are the children of obamacare they get elected because of the excesses in 2009 and 2010 and we predicted it right here on this show in real time so why does the president need to back up why does he need to catch his breath why does he need to stop sounding like richard nixon in a bunker trying to explain why he didn't lie to the american people when new york magazine has a tape of him doing just that 26 27 28 times because what happened in 2010 with the overreach is impacting politics today in washington dc and if this continues much longer yes the website will be fixed but the scar tissue politically is going to elect a lot more people in 2014 that look like the people that were elected in 2010. This doesn't all happen in a I vacuum, just, uh, Mika. Look, and, and you look at Democratic support, mm -hmm. even with all of, of the horrible leadership some Republicans have shown over the past couple of months, it's Democrats who are suffering right now and will continue to suffer if the president doesn't take a leadership role and that's why senate democratic candidates from red states are going to the president right now and saying we're in trouble you need to help us and i think you can hone in on that potential problem for the democrats especially in the midterms maybe but you're you're not considering the shutdown you're not considering the negative impact of the tea party you're not considering the damage that ted cruz has done to the republican party i would say the white house in the past few weeks by virtue of this failed launch and uh, the misstatements by the president, given the fact that they probably should have predicted there would be even a few people who are knocked off their plans, who are given great hardship because of the health care law. And whether it's five people or five million, those are stories that are going to be told. And those are stories the communications department in the administration and the Democratic Party should have predicted. That is just stupidity. May I finish? May I finish? But the thing is, right now, the, um, I think the potential for the Republicans to still lose out on this is strong because of the damage they've done so far, too. And I think the president has time to fix this. Here's what could fix it. Getting people signed up. I don't know how they do it. So, but if they can get those millions of people signed up, it will help a lot. And it will so debunk Ted what Cru you're saying. Ted Cruz has gotten out of the way. The Republicans have gotten out of the way. They've learned their lesson. And now the spotlight is on Obamacare. It would have been on Obamacare two months ago if they had gotten out of the way. But Julie Pace, one thing.